Alright, so now I want to turn my attention to this little bolt right here. This bolt appears to have the purpose of draining this part of the uh, pump housing for, of fuel. I'm assuming you, you take this bolt out and it drains down the fuel to this level so that you can take the cover off and make any adjustments that you're going to make inside here. It's the only purpose I can see for it, but the reason why I'm going to take it out is because it's got a crush washer and I'm uh, pretty sure that a new one came in the kit so I think it uh, makes sense to replace that so that's uh, one less possibility of a leak. So first I'm going to check and see if I've got one that size in the kit <laughs> I just dumped out the uh, contents of this bag so I could uh, look for that crush washer and look what I found in here. Delivery valve stop. Turns out the kit came with a new delivery valve stop and I had ordered one separately because I didn't think that uh, it included one in the kit. So, I like them apples. Didn't come with a shutoff cam, no, but it did come with the delivery valve stop. So, oh well. I wonder if I have that old delivery valve stop still sitting around here. I'm curious if this is the, the correct one. I don't know where I put it. Was oh, it in this little bucket? Yeah, here it is. This is the original one. Yeah, it looks good. Guess I didn't need to order one of those. It wasn't very expensive. But if anybody else is planning on ordering one of these kits, be advised, don't bother getting the delivery valve stop. It comes with it. All right. What else we got in here? What are these? Ah, that's a funky little thing. Two of them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a lot of stuff left over here, and I can only surmise that the intention was for them to provide one kit that serviced several different versions or models of this pump, some of which required more parts than others. Here's a funky little washer with a rubber seal in it. Huh. Let's see. Several of these have to be for the purpose of sealing these banjo type fittings to the uh, to the pump. So the question is, what's supposed to be used to seal these? Is it supposed to be a crush washer on each side, or is it supposed to be an O-ring on one side and a crush washer on the other? That is the question, which I think I'll look at the parts list and see if I can get an answer. Okay, the parts list shows a call-out number of 84. Same part number for the inside and the outside of that uh, that banjo fitting, and it's describing it as a plain washer, and it actually says there should be 13 of them. Two per hole times six should be 12, and then there must be a 13th one that's used somewhere else, maybe even in my uh, current bolt that I'm thinking of replacing. Uh, so. Let's see if any of these, because these are different size. Let's see if any of these. Well, I don't see 13 here. One, two, three, four, five, six. These six are identical. So. 
that accounts for something. And two, four, six. These six are identical. So I think I've got to use these and one of these and one of these for each banjo fitting. Which side goes on which? Good question. Uh, okay, so that doesn't leave any of these left to use on this fitting right here. I wonder if this one one of these little suckers right here goes there. Well, let's take it out and take a look at it. Yep, mystery solved. This is the washer that has the unique little rubber inset there. So, that's one of these three. That one's much larger in diameter, so it's one of these two. These two are identical. We can discard that. Take this guy and put him on right here. Now I gotta find out what the name of this little bolt is, so I'll be able to see if there's a torque spec for it listed. Well, I can't find this uh, name of this screw. It might be torque screw hole plug. I think there may be other pumps that there's actually a set screw type of arrangement. They call it a torque screw. But I thought that was... I actually thought that was this screw here. But I might be wrong. I don't know. So I don't know what to torque this to torque this to. So I think I'm just going to go with uh, like 20 foot pounds or somewhere around there. Just tighten it up. In the kit came this tiny little metal sleeve, which has me a little perplexed. I don't know whether or not it's just not used in my pump. It just comes in the kit because the kit services other models of pumps. Or is it used somewhere I haven't seen yet? Or of course the worst possibility would be that I had one originally and I omitted it and didn't put this one in to replace it. So I'm going to scour the parts diagram and see if I see a tiny little metal sleeve anywhere. Well. In my interest to see whether or not there are any areas of this pump that I haven't fully disassembled and uh, might have little hidden things that I overlooked as far as o-rings or seals, I decided to take another look at this end cap. And those of you who have looked at my uh, earlier videos when I was playing around with the fuel system remember that I had removed this nut because there's a screen inside here and I was able to inspect the screen and make sure it was clean. So what I noticed now though is when I look down straight in there it's actually an Allen head screw down inside there. So I'm wondering whether or not there's more to this than meets the eye. So I want to take this out again. Only oddly enough it's very tight now. Can't get it off right now. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to put this in the vise, protect it with some, maybe I'll wrap it in some cloth and then try and clamp it in the vise to get a little bit more force on there. But I'm shocked at how tight that is now because I know I had that out at, uh, at one point. Well, that was really tight. I was able to get it off. Oh, there you go. Right there, there's an o-ring. There's an o-ring that's going to account for one more o-ring in the uh, out of the kit we're going to need, and there's another small o-ring down there at the bottom. So that's good. And what do we see down inside this? Nothing really. A couple 
drops of fuel. Nothing else to really see down in here. Of course, we've got this plug on the bottom I've never had off. That's probably got some sort of a seal associated with it also. I don't even know if I want to try and take that off. That looks like it hasn't been off in a long, long time. Like, maybe never. <laughs> huh. Alright, to uh, try and get this nut off, I'm going to... It's got this little um, spring pin sticking out there. Rather than take that out, I'm just going to hold it to the edge of the workbench here. So it'll sit flat. So the spring pin will be off the edge of the bench and clamp it to the bench so I can get some uh, some force on it. Piece of cake. It's just one of those things where it seemed really tight when I was trying to do it by just holding it in my hand, but as soon as I firmly secured it to the bench, it wasn't even really that tight. And what I've got is I got a nice little plug and another o-ring and look what came in the kit new plug it's identical to the one I just pulled out right there so might as well use that so now I can now that I have this wide open I can give it a much better cleaning than I had previously given it.